Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Nineteen lives? Jed is a real hero. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. How mysterious. See, Harmon must be Charlotte. This is really cool. G A B. That's got to be Gabe, right? Guess these were for mining. Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Rest in peace, mister. Miss Chen? My dad was in the service. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get used to how they operate. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Takes a minute. Oh, is that really Ryan? It's all in the ropes, though. Huh? Yeah, I guess. The way they do things is just so... That looks radioactive. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just... Seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. So are you um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? I saw some stuff on the walls. People here still talk about it. 
the tourism board wanted to make a movie. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He's so modest, it's ridiculous. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Um, it sounds cool, but I'm sure I'd feel too self-conscious doing it. That's fair. Playing with the right people helps, though. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong. You have to take the shot. <laughs> Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Is there any punctuation in the song title? Nope. Okay. So, does the song title have a curse word in it? <laughs> a curse word? Would that offend you? Answer the question. <laughs> no curse words in the title, ma'am. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. You've got two questions left. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh. Yeah, it totally does. Nice. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Are there people on the cover? No. Yeah, no. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name does have a symbol in it. No curse words in the song title. 
No punctuation in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No people on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Is it that one? No, it's not. Sorry. All right. Let her drink me. It's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> How was it? Oh my god. <laughs> That's like corn syrup mixed with paint chips? I don't know. <laughs> hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. I got her. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Hey, Alex. I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Wait, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> You know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. Not to mention, you can sure hold your liquor. <laughs> you can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I...
What? I... Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it... I guess I never realized. That I'm a crazy person? No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. On, on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No. No one told me that. I just... feel it. Sure, it's not just, you know. It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. It's real.
Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's, that's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Hey. Is Ethan up here? No. He was heading home. He was, but... I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan... He told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. Ethan? Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex. This way. Wow. 
Been a while since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his minor in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have... said something earlier. I didn't... I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Cool. A murder barn. Will we though? Nope. 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 Super nope. Maybe Julie McNamara doesn't need your approval. My joyride in this will have to wait until after we found Ethan. How is the rubber zombie? The least creepy thing out here. Hey, bro. Want to get wasted at the old mine? The real monster here is underage drinking. You don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super murdery. They were gonna set off charges tonight. Thank God Gabe got a hold of them. Probably not as fun to ride in as they look. Imagine being trapped down there. Or actually, don't. It's pretty beaten up. Wonder what happened to it. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion...
Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind of me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building. If we can find a way in. Let's take a look, then. Okay. Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with other stuff in the area. Imagine being trapped down there. Or, actually, don't. Wow. Once Ethan's safe, I'll raise one too. I think I'm looking for something closer to that big building. Too bad nothing like this is in the comics. Thanor could have just plowed through the entrance. Wait, so... Did Ethan? Oh, man. I think there's like a side door back there? I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. You figured that out from a comic book. I'm gonna try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? I'm 100% sure that if I picked up the receiver, there'd be like a demon voice on the other end. Have I got some good news for you? Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. Okay, but then how did he get out of here? Not sure. Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Ugh. Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Ugh. Worse than sleeping on the ground. Nope. Thanar doesn't battle any bed bugs. So much stuff just left behind. This thing has seen better days. Worth a shot, I guess. Ethan must have passed through some other way. Let me see what I can figure out. That must be where Ethan's heading.
wasn't in the comic. We passed caution like an hour ago. Not in the comic. The silo. We're getting close. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Heads up! You figured out the door! Yeah. Turns out you gotta open it. Who knew? Wonders never cease. So this place was a death trap when it was operational too. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. wasn't in the comic. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? took you so long. You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. Close? Think so. Ethan! Ethan! Ethan!
Ethan! Alex! I'm scared! Ethan, I'm coming for you, buddy! Wait. Hold on. Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. Shit. What about me? Alex. Uh, are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome. Show me. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, slow is steady. Steady's fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. to the other side. The log fell. That's fine. That's okay. Let's talk about what comes next. I'm not gonna let you fall, okay? Did you see me coming down this log? I'm super balanced. No, 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 no. I can hear it down there. Hear what? Doesn't matter. Just gotta get him out of here. We can't stay here, Ethan. We have to- It'll see me! If I move, it'll see me! What's gonna see you? You don't understand. He's right. I don't. I can't help him if I don't understand what he's afraid of. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. 
I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this. Warden. I thought that was just a story. Well, some stories are true. Like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, alright? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. all the way across before, remember? It could still break! Our emotions are connected. I need to keep him calm. That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. 